Hey guys, Darren here again. This time I'm doing a box review of 1992 Pacific Triple Folders. This is a really interesting affair because these, these cards were kind of a secondary set. They were supposed to be kind of uh, elite, well, very elite. I mean, really at the time it was a, it was a time when when companies were trying to figure out what the next step was going to be and Pacific tried this with their triple folders these are huge cards they're oversized cards and so the size of them is twice the size of a normal card that's that's how big these these cards are and they're actually twice as big as that because they actually fold open really wide but it was an interesting idea that they did and and it it starts off with the fact that this is one card per pack. Now technically it's two. So in each pack you do have a triple folder, but you also have an insert card. And these are the insert cards from the main Pacific set. So 1992 Pacific Plus, they had a whole bunch of insert sets. And then with these, they had one per pack. So in a, a box of triple full or in a box of Pacific Plus, you're only gonna get five or six of those inserts. Here, you're gonna get 36, because it's a 36 count box. And on top of that, it's a 28 count uh, card set. So the set itself is one card for every single team. This is the, the entire span of the leagues. There are only 28 cards in the set. And in a box, it's easy to get a full set. I did, I actually got every single card. And the only card that's, that's an issue is Johnny Johnson here where there's, it got crimped in the, in the packaging. So that's the only damaged card. Otherwise, it is a complete set and all in one box so the box actually gets in if you're trying to get the set the box is probably going to give you that return it's the inserts though that's what's really significant about the these boxes and they're a little pricey because of that so if you're trying to collect the inserts this is a great way to do it because you get so in in this case for this set this is i think 30 cards yeah this is 30 cards these are the team leaders and then they closed out the set with the two uh rushing leaders so i got two four six i got six cards for the set so i got 20 percent of the set which included moon and it includes steve young uh very nice cards for pacific they're surprisingly good uh they also did steve largent and i got eight of the nine cards in the set so just short one card and so it it quickly finished that and then also with the checklist they did checklist cards four checklists for each of the series so there are eight checklists i got all i got the complete i actually got two complete sets of the series one checklist and then i got a couple of other doubles i actually broke out the doubles here this one got crimped so that doesn't entirely count but i got um, I got three extra uh, of two, two extra of three, and five extra of checklist number four. So, so that was good. But this is this is the big one. The picks picks the pros, and these are the silver cards that came in this box. And I got Daryl Green, Derek Thomas, Thurman Thomas, and uh, Andre Risen of note from these cards. But the. Th it's interesting because this box is supposed to have series one and series two inserts and i don't know if they did a second release or how to recognize the second release because since these are all series one inserts steve largent's the series one checklist obviously is series one etc i don't know how to find the box that has the greasy and has the gold picks the pros but still two four uh six Wait, two, four, seven cards of the uh, 25 card set here. It would take basically four of these boxes to get a chance at completing the set, which would be nice because I'd really like to complete the set, although it'd be really expensive to do that. But unlike the, the main packs, the Pacific Plus packs, those cards tended to stick together. In here, because of the way that it's one card against uh, a totally different card, these cards didn't come out damaged and that was a really good thing about it so in terms of pursuing the set this is kind of the way to do it and that's what these packs were really all about it was all about special inserts and a very special card and the cards themselves are really uh, really interesting because they have a, a bifold on the front and when you open up the image then you get images inside totally separate images and then on the back it has a, a card back for the player and so they they are a really fun affair all on their own. Um, it, it, it's one of those fascinating things from this time where off, for many of us, we never discovered this until years later. And at first you're looking at going, well, what is this? And then you gain an appreciation. Now, like I said, there are, um, 
there are only 28 cards in the set, so you get an additional eight in the box. I got a Higgs in here, uh, so I got another Thurman Thomas, Neil Anderson, Emmett Smith, John Elway, Neil O'Donnell, Miriam Butts, and Steve Young. So I did really, really, really well with these parallels. You know, I didn't get Barry Sanders. Uh, Dan Marino wasn't in the set, uh, but I didn't get Barry, and I didn't get uh, Sterling Sharp. But otherwise, I got just about everybody that, that you really cared to get. And so that was that was a, a wonderful uh, quality to this, but it is a very 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 quick box to open because you're basically just opening up, up a pack and then you're opening up a pack. You don't really have much to go through. This is an affair where you're going to rip through the, the packs in a hurry, and then you're going to sit down in the aftermath and go through and really take the time to look at all of these cards. And they're fun cards. They are super fun cards. To, uh, to look at, to experience. I, I, I enjoy the cards themselves. But the inserts, again, that's the whole point of this. It's being able to chase these inserts and get pretty close to a set. So I would love to figure out how to find the Series 2 equivalent for this. I'm sure there that it must be out there. I don't think that they... Uh, I, I've never opened a box of 93, so I don't know how the 93 triple folders works, but this is a very weird thing. But that's that's par for the course for the 90s. 90s is tons, it has tons and tons of weird stuff, and that's part of the fun of it. And this is definitely one of the one of the golden examples of that. So uh, yeah, that's that's my take on it, and uh, thank you very much for watching.